Uh, tangential slip length technique. Uh, the beam angle is normally set at between 75 degrees to 90 degrees. The angle is denoted by this marking over here. It's better if you set it uh, after 60 degrees. Uh. So. The beam width for tangential illumination is from medium to high. Uh, this is the high one. Medium will be around this width. But normally the maximum width is used. As for beam height, uh, normally it's set to the maximum capacity. Uh, highest magnitude. Not this one, but the highest one. It's either this or this. Combination for slip or tangential is uh, adjusted to medium intensity uh, around this area to ensure the comfort of the patient. For magnification, Magnification usually starts uh, from times 10 and then slowly you proceed to, uh, to medium magnification of 16 times. The purpose of tangential illumination is to locate features of the, on the iris such as unevenness and tumors. Broad tangential illumination is more effective without the film illuminator. So tangential illumination helps to increase contrast and show varying degrees of texture in the ocular tissue. So if you look over here, lighting is especially helpful for showing slight corneal scarring, pseudo exfoliation of the lens, and uh, unevenness of the, of the iris, and of course a uh, small bullet and bullous keratopathy. The angle is at 45 degrees. Beam width is 2 to 4 mm. And maximum beam height. <laughs> Medium illumination. Magnification. For specular reflection, you align the beam to the specular light. Then you increase the magnification to maximum and you can actually focus on the cornea endothelium and you can see uh, if it's clear or whether the tear film is uh, have debris. Good.